Hello and welcome to my <coughs> second uh, tutorial on a PHP forum. So in this tutorial we're going to connect our, our on a database uh, using PHP my admin, uh, which is provided by the exam uh, in this case. So we're going to connect to our database and insert some uh, values. Um, okay, so now go to your browser and type in localhost slash php my admin and this uh, site will pop up. So go to databases and create a new database. Call it, for example, php forum. I have already one database called forum. This that's mine. So php forum. So click on it on the left, uh, left side, and we need table, a table. So we're going uh, to need three tables, but for now we need one. The first is going to be for users. The second is going to be for threads, and the third is going to be for topics. So. Uh, in this case, we need uh, users, so type in users, and the number of rows are mm, one for ID, type in one for ID, two for username, three for password, four for email. Five for the date uh, that user registered. So we need five fields. Okay. The first is going to be the ID, and pay pay much attention on what I'm uh, doing right now. The type is going to be int, and go to auto increment and check it. Make sure you check it and this is going to be primary so the third is username varchar and make the length about to uh, 25 the second is going to be password oops no nope. sorry about that ah uh, come on Okay, let me pause this a bit. Okay, so for the password I put, oops, I put a uh, varchar and make the length about this. Save. Okay, so we need uh, two more fields. You don't need to do these steps, okay? You just type in what I type to. We need email and date. The email will go, is going to be the same. Just leave it. And the date uh, is not going to be varchar, but it's going to be date. And save. And here you go. You have your uh, database ready almost right basically and your table so now we need to connect on our uh, database so create a new file and name it connect.php and type in oops open php and type in connect equals to mysql connect and we need first our host in this case is localhost our username the name it's which is root and the password we don't have password okay sorry about that and we need to connect right now basically let's put a message if it doesn't connect and we need to connect on our 
uh, the, um, oh my god in the first uh, in the second line here when we're connecting on our host on the third we're connecting our database sorry about that select database and here you put your database name which is php underscore forum and let's save to server and go to your register.php and at the top type uh, require connect.php so as you can see we are connected we have no errors if you change this you will get a uh, error as you can see it's loading so many times yeah and here is our, our message and we are connected and now we need to insert some data so to take an idea on how inserting data on uh, mysql table i will uh, do, ex uh, do an example right now for basically um, <coughs> let's type in if query is equal to mysql query and here is a mysql part so it's very simple insert into a table which is users uh, here you need uh, what you are going to insert so we are going to insert the id and make sure you have uh, this little symbol i know i don't know what its name what, what it's called basically so we need id username username password email and we don't need a date right now so insert in the users id username password email values and now you type this brackets no brackets sorry I um, mean these things okay so id is going to be uh, null the username is going to be oh basically ma make sure you typing exactly the same uh, code so username username uh, here will be password oops email so if we does insert all these values then we're going to echo success else echo failure so let's type in john 1 to 3 1 to 3 and blah 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 maybe something that can register success so now if you're going to your database you will see the id equals to one username john password one to three and the email if we're going to add another user and submit you will see the id oops sorry about that go to users yeah you will see that the id is uh, auto increment so yeah Thanks for watching and please rate, comment and subscribe and new tutorials are coming soon. Bye.